I found a really incredible spot for giant alligator to hang out. And not only that, it's the perfect spot to be able to take down a diamond. All right, so I'm going to show you where the spot is right here. And I'm also going to tell you, I do know where two absolute giant alligators are located right now. And I'm going to show you how this spot could help you get your first diamond ever. So the spot is over here by Bold Tree Break. But the way to enter this location is you got to come in from this outpost here, the Jonesville Lodge. Now, what you could do is set up a tent right here, and that'd probably help out quite a bit, but I don't have one here. Anyways, this is kind of how it works out. Well, there's one of them right there, a giant mythical with an estimate of 428 to 504. Man, is he huge. He's just sitting out there at about 200 yards, and we're going to have to try and figure out where he's going to go next and see if we can't cut him off and make a nice vital hit. Now, you can see how shallow it is in there because, look, you can see half his body already. That's how you know it's shallow. He's walking on the ground and his back is still sticking up just a little bit. So if we get in there and make one single lung shot or even potentially a double lung if we're lucky, then he's not gonna go too far at all. All right guys, there he is right there, 250 yards away. It looks like he's actually trying to swim underneath that bridge there. I was over there the other day and they actually go right underneath you. So that'll be a perfect setup to be on top of that bridge as he was actually swimming underneath check that out can you imagine being on top of that bridge and having this giant gator swim right underneath you and just take the shot directly below you that would be pretty incredible to make happen oh what do we got here now oh a seven but he's only 50 yards out what the wait is that him how do you get back over here now we just took a shot Oh, we got him. We definitely got him. I don't know if we got intestine or lung or what, but we definitely hit something good there, guys. Ooh. And like I said, it's pretty shallow here. So even if we didn't get a lung, he should float back up to the top and give us another shot. Is that the seven? It's the same seven. He keeps doing the exact same thing. Oh, ooh. We got him good that time. All right, let's find out here. I see one arrow, which is definitely intestine, and I don't see another arrow anywhere. 397, he would have been a gold, but we drop low. That's what the problem is. Both of our shots were low and far back. Okay. Oh, I hear something. And it's really close. Where is it though? Oh my god! Oh, 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 holy! Oh, that's a vertebrae shot. Hit him super far back. Oh, what did we hit that time? What did we hit that time? Check this out. So they can't go. Oh! It doesn't get very deep here. They can't get into the deep water. They just keep on coming back, huh? Oh, there we go. There we go. There, that thing's going down. All right, we got a couple hits into his lung there for sure. He's not going far after that. He's down. Vertebrae, and that was a double lung shot. And then a left lung shot, quartering away. Wow. What a perfect little spot here, though. Right here, they don't want to cross this crossing into the deep. So they just kind of keep on running in a circle until you take a shot. That's good to know. Ooh, do you guys remember when I said I wanted to take this giant mythical down from this bridge here and how cool that's going to be? Well, I'm pretty sure that's about to happen right now because he's on the opposite side. And eventually, the only way for him to get out to the deep water is to swim right past this bridge. So I think that's about to happen. And I'm pretty excited about that. All right, so we're going to creep over here, get on top of this bridge, see if I can't spot this massive mythical alligator. And I don't know if we're going to actually take a shot to get him to come this way or what, but somehow we got to get him to spin back around and come underneath this bridge. 
But there's his tail right there. He's actually coming this direction right now. So this is what I mean. The only way he can go is back this direction. Otherwise, he has to go way over here. And he's not going to do that. Yeah, look at that. There he is. So we could definitely take a shot out there and get this gator. And eventually, he's going to come back this way. You know what I think we might do? I really don't want to take a shot as he's swimming in that water. Because we're going to have to hold for his head as he's swimming and try and catch him right in the back of the neck. That's the only thing we can really do. There's no like vital shot opportunities here because you can only see half of his body. Whereas if he's swimming directly towards you, you can shoot him right directly in the center of his body and you'll be able to catch lung. And there's no way he's going to make it all the way out there before he goes down. There's just no way. All right. Well, I think what we'll do is slowly work our way over here. And kind of see what happens. Play it by ear, you know. That actually could be a shot. If he swam through right there, that could be a shot. But by the time he gets here, it's really not a shot. Because he's like half underwater. See what I mean? Like, yeah, he's in range, but that's not a shot. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Oh my God, that's him. That's him. Ooh. We got him. Oh, I shot high. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where did he go? Where the heck did he go? Did he cross? I don't know where he went. Well, if we only hit him once. Yeah, we don't have hunting pressure. Ooh. He just floated up to the top, guys. He just floated up right there. Oh my God. This is our biggest alligator of all time. We well, must have got a single lung. There's no way he would have went down that quick with a body or an intestine hit. There's just no way. I mean, I felt good about this shot because he was actually quartering away. I held for his head and took the shot and everything felt good. It's just the fact that the percentage didn't drop very much, but I forgot how long it actually does take for it to drop with only a single lung and these gators. But here he comes right here. Is this going to be our biggest alligator ever with a bow? Yes, it is. Yes, it is a 474.5 and we got a single lung shot at 24 yards away. Oh, what a perfect shot. What a perfect shot. It was going right for the heart. But man, that shot was perfect right on the money. You got to imagine he's swimming and I'm holding for his head and we hit him. You know, we had to compensate for that swim, but we just smoked that thing. What a giant mythical alligator. All right, so now that we took down that giant mythical alligator, let me show you how we were able to get him and why this spot is so good to get giant alligators. So once you have your tent set up here, you're gonna find out that the alligator entered through this bayou right here. And once they enter, they keep going all the way back in to the farthest point. They like to hang out way back in here, but this whole entire bottom of the bayou here is all shallow water, all the way up to right here. So that means if you hit something back here, it's going to go all the way to this front part just to be able to get away. And if you hit him at least somewhat decent, he's not going too far. Trust me. So the way that it works is right here, there's a little crossing and the alligators, they don't like to cross this crossing. And the next spot is over here where there's a bridge. I showed you guys that bridge before, or I don't know if I showed you before or not. I had to have. 
Anyways, this bridge right here is also an excellent spot as well. Because as you saw, we took down that giant mythical back here. And he had to go all the way across that bridge. So another thing you could do is even take a shot with a 22. Spook that thing and he's going to come right back towards you and swim right underneath you. And it's going to be like Jaws because that thing's going to come right past. And you want to do this at about 1030 in the morning as well. So between 9 and 12 is when they like to be here. So this spot here is definitely, in my opinion, one of the best locations to be able to get a dime potential alligator. And we just took down our biggest one ever. Even though it wasn't quite a diamond. All right, guys, on that note, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.